if you say my name, I'll no longer exist. Any guesses? I'm a trade secret. One of the most difficult thing to protect in this curious world. So if you have valuable commercial or technical information, which is recognized as a trade secret, and hundreds of your employees get to know that in the course of the, their employment, what is the guarantee that your employees will not use your trade secret for their own benefit or even worse, for the benefit of your competitors? My research attempts to solve this problem by providing solutions for Australian legal landscape, which is currently neither clear nor satisfactory. In this multi-billion dollar knowledge-based economy, trade secrets are often treated as crown jewels as it brings a competitive advantage to a company. It could be the formula of Coca-Cola, secret recipe of KFC, Listerine, Google PageRank, or even a customer list of a company. As pointed out by the Australian Bureau of Statistics, secrecy is the most common intellectual property protection method among Australian businesses. Moreover, employees are recognized as the biggest threat to the protection of trade secrets as they know how and where trade secrets are stored and other details of it. Usually, employers believe that a comprehensive written contract, which includes non-disclosure and non-competition clauses, would successfully prevent an employee, employee from divulging trade secrets and from joining a rival company. However, such contracts are not always effective as nothing can be done once the cat is out of the bag. Despite this commercial significance, law relating to this issue is highly fragmented domestically and internationally. For instance, Australia follows the case law precedents derived in 17th century in regulating this issue, whereas other continents such as the USA and Europe follow legislation. This legal fragmentation prejudicially affects trade, cross-border collaborative innovation, technology transfer, making Australia less competitive in global markets. Moreover, it is doubtful how court would strike a balance between employers' right to protect trade secrets and employees' right to professional mobility and other rights. Therefore, based on a comparative research, comparative analysis, my research proposes a framework for Australia to more consistently approach the regulation of trade secrets in an employment setting. In doing so, I draw on international law and domestic laws, I analyze this good and bad practices utilized by those jurisdictions and make suggestions to help Australia move forward in this globalized knowledge economy. Thank you.